deal. I'm staying here. He's like, all right, stand up, put your hands behind your back. Guy's like, don't you can put your hands on me. I'll sue you. The cop's like, you're not suing me. Put your hands behind your back. You're coming with me. He's like, I'm not leaving. And the second come, cop comes down the hill. He's like, you need to come with us. He's like, I'll sue you. He's like, fine. I don't care. You can sue me right now. You're coming with me. You're spending the night in jail. Okay. Does he not have a car? Huh? Do they not have a car? I don't even think he has a job. Oh. I've never even seen him in more than one outfit. He's a keeper. For sure. So then he runs. And I'm just like, what is going on here? So me, I'm sitting on my deck for all of this because I've gone home by now. So I'm just sitting there in the dark like a creeper watching all of this on my deck. So he runs. So I can hear them go up one way of the subdivision. Then I can hear them go down the other way of the subdivision. So I go over to her. I'm like, are you okay? And she's like, yeah. Um, I was just really scared. Oh yeah. And she's standing there in ripped pants. Um, whoops. Um, so then the cops come back down they're like, we got him. He's in the car. He's going to jail, but we're not charging him. So he'll get out tomorrow morning. So like, you need to make a call. Like I would change your lock, not let him back in. She's like, yep, yep. Totally understand. They're like your daughter who's in the house, who's 11 is the one that called 911. Like, just oh, no. like, sure enough, seven o'clock the next morning, buddy's back at the house. I can't even. So then, must have been Wednesday night, I hear <laughs> door, and I look, I've been putting groceries away, and I look around, and he's at my door. I was like, oh, buddy, I'm not talking to you at my house. So bangs more. So I finally go over. I'm like, what? He's like, I just want to apologize for the other night. I'm like, don't apologize to me. You owe nothing to me. I said, apologize to your girlfriend. He's like, everything's okay with us. And I'm like, well, clearly not. Her daughter called the cops and she was standing there in ripped pants. He's like, oh, I was just like joking around. I was like, um, ripping a girl's clothes off in the backyard is not joking around unless you're getting frisky. That was clearly not getting frisky. Like, what are you even doing? So he's going back and forth. So the story is that um, he doubled up on his ADHD meds and his buddy gave him booze and that made him go insane. So if anybody watches Roni, this is sort of like um, Sonia's story about the water pills and she doesn't really get drunk. Oh my God. (laughs) Remember that? Yeah. You're ADHD this a duck so yeah that's what's going on with me this week all right pretty thrilling right well, and then all my neighbors are yelling at me they're like you're an effing morning like you don't go over to their house at 1 30 in the morning like what if he killed you <laughs> so at least I was I, peaceful night's sleep right i literally wasn't even thinking and i can scream like a banshee so it's all good yeah well there's there's a little a drama not too much instigating but you did a little <laughs> <laughs> they instigated i tried to calm down are you guys um everything open yet um well this is super fun we get vaccine passports in a couple of weeks right so now all the anti-vaccine people are flipping out because now you're getting a little code on your phone. So if you want to go anywhere, um, the only places are like non-essential. But if you want to go to, um, I think like gyms, hairdressers, concerts, sports venues, anything like that, you have to show that you're fully vaccinated to be able to get in. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So- that's how it is in New York City. You can't even get in the restaurants. Yeah, but is restaurant, restaurant choice? What? what is it like the restaurant's choice or like oh no, it's a lot like oh. you have to now in the city. Oh wow. Yeah. Can make, people that can make a choice are retail. So like our stores, they can make a choice if they want to or not. They're not mandated. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, so people are like losing their crap, but like back, we're already really high. We're like seventy-five percent of the population that's eligible is vaccinated. 
but <clears throat> um, bookings doubled within 24 hours for people to get their first shots. Y'all are um, just within, fever you know, up in Canada. Oh yeah, they're not messing around. Yeah, that's really strict there. Like, I don't even think there's the border even open yet. I think it well, is. Well, it, it's super fun. You guys can come this way. We can't go that way. That's what I thought. It's not, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, it's, yeah, that seems to be crazy. Um, I, I uh, on my Facebook feed, there's a couple comedians that I follow that died of COVID and I like went and combed their page and they were like anti-vax. And the last photo was them like getting ready to go on a ventilator. That's sad. It's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. That's still happening, but it's Florida. So Florida, it was, they're both in Florida. So <laughs> you expect nothing less in Florida. YOLO, Florida. Um, yeah, and other crazy news that's been going on is like, I did not know Joe Rogan was such an a-hole. He's oh, the yeah. one with COVID, right? Is he the, he's the podcast? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, no, it's only been a couple days. He's tested negative. He's right. miraculously cured. <laughs> because he took the cow dewormer, oh, or horse, horse dewormer. dewormer. Apparently it's some cocktail that people have been using. Um, I was laughing because people were posting under his comments because I tried to go on and do some instigating. And um, <laughs> people were posting under the comments with, of, with a story with him. And I was like, couldn't believe how many people are defending him. But it wasn't even like, I don't know. I, it was the most, like, it was weird. I think he is just like so ridiculously popular that a lot of people yeah. don't want to like agree, you know, disagree with, I, I don't know. But a bunch of people were like, oh, I, I refuse to get the vaccine and I'm hoarding uh, that cocktail or whatever those meds were. They're like, great to know it works. We're hoarding it in case we get COVID. I'm like, you're going to take that, but not get the shot. And you're hoarding horse deworm. Like, it's all crazy. Well, I was looking. So I saw something on it and I was like, well, I don't like, how does that work? And I never like, not that I'm smart enough to understand how it would work, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm like, I have no idea. So there's no not it, it is getting a little mixed up. The horse, there is a lot of people taking the horse to de dewormer one because they're morons. Uh -huh. There is a type of it that has been used in COVID treatment that is supposedly working very well. It's not the same as the dewormer, and you're getting it from a doctor, so it's like actual right. Um, okay like the amount you would need for your body and stuff. Like if you go, just go buy it at the veterinary store at the horse feed store, like <laughs> you don't know how that's, much to take. That's what the article that I read was, was like, you can obviously get it for two oh in, in a specific way, but like the horse one is more, um, it's more like potent because you know, who horses weigh like, I don't know, 700 pounds about. or however much a horse weighs. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I hope these jerks are hoarding it. I mean, the that, thing is, ultimately, they they have to study it first. They don't know that, like, only it's it hasn't been used widely against COVID. It's used for like other topical things, like mm -hmm. lice and other things in humans, and right. like minimally. So, the like a couple of doctors are prescribing it, but the thing about like Joe Rogan is he gets like the monoclonal antibodies. Like he's getting all these things. It's a cocktail. Right. But to claim that it's the Iver, like to talk about it, like the Ivermectin or whatever works is, is totally misleading because mm -hmm. we don't know, but it's possible. Like, just like the mask thing a year from now, Ivermectin could be one of the things they just haven't studied it to know. So like, but it, it, yeah. it definitely won't be the horse breed version. <laughs> I know, but it's so ridiculous that they'll do that, but they won't get the vaccine. Yeah. No, a friend of mine, we were out the other day 
and um he's 100 percent not not he's not vaccinated not getting vaccinated this must have been about three weeks ago and he's like yeah maybe in a couple years when it's approved i was like oh perfect fda is approving it on monday good to go you can get pfizer he's like oh that is good to know he's like well unless they have the ingredients list i don't want to know what's going in my body He's sitting there eating a Taco Bell taco and having a cigarette. Yeah. He's worried about the freaking ingredients that are in it. I was like, here, Google, look right here, the ingredients, all three of the vaccines that we can get here in Canada. Here's the full ingredients list for them. You read Jin, into that. A temple. Huh? His body is a temple. Right? <laughs> I say that. I was talking to a friend today and I said, if you're going to tell me that you don't know what's in the vaccine because it ain't good for you, I, you better work out and go to CrossFit and everything else because every person I've seen that's refusing to get the vaccine is totally obese, alcoholic with a cigarette hanging out of their mouth. <laughs> and the researcher, like how many people researcher, like these are all people that I know that didn't graduate high school and all of a sudden they're like these <laughs> top medical researchers like oh my god you couldn't pass like, math what is going on my body my choice says texas and then they ban abortion yeah everybody one of those people better have a vaccine <laughs> yeah like it's everything oh, yeah, has been yeah. very contradictory this real week life. for me like, don't even understand and then they have some um what the freak was it like a phone number that you can call if you know somebody's going to get an abortion and you can get money out of it like yeah. they reward you for like telling on your friend who's going to get an abortion like what's crazy of- i saw what that how crazy is that and then i was like on all the i was online all the sites are trolling it and then getting it to crash you know yeah. But uh, I'm going to tell you, it's so crazy. I got a text message from Uber and Lyft because I'm still activated as a driver that said, don't worry about if you drive somebody in Texas, you know, for people in Texas to an abortion, like w- you can't be sued. We will cover you. I saw that. That was I'm like, good. Uber and Lyft had to put out a notice. I don't know. Do you want to hear other crazy people though? We always talk about Florida people being crazy. Yeah. So Germany has started these health certificate things. So you can either upload um, on the website or like an app or something you can show in the app. But if you're not comfortable about being digitalized, you can pick up like a paper certificate. So they have like a drive through site to go pick up the paper certificates for some people who don't want to. Some German guy shows up and he's like, I need one of those certificates. They're like, okay, we need your proof of vaccination. He's like, oh, I'm not vaccinated. I just need the certificate. They're like, okay, but the certificate is saying that you got vaccinated. He's like, I don't believe in that. I'm not getting vaccinated, but I need the certificate. So I go out for dinner. They're like, sure, that's not how it works. He punched out the worker. <laughs> oh, okay. That's not <laughs> funny. Why am I Germany laughing? has nothing on Florida, man, at this point. Like, Jesus. Yeah. F- like, can you imagine? Uh, yeah, people are crazy right now. I mean, everything that's been going on with um, the airlines alone. Yeah. Like, way too. Y'all on to airplanes? Air- what is going on? Like, people have left their mind. Oh, Debbie yeah. said they're adding somebody to the no fly list like once a week. Just her? What? Well, probably just her because she just doesn't take any crap. No, but I, I mean, in general, just her. I was going to say, can you imagine how uh, many? From her, just her flights. That she's yeah, her doing flights. In- yeah. Like, what is going on? Why are people so crazy? I don't know. Nobody people, has it. Yeah. When we were flying, they started selling booze on the airplane again. I don't know when they stuck up, but they were selling it on our flight to the Bahamas. That doesn't seem like an excellent idea. Yeah. No, the person in front of me ordered two beers for him and two for the someone in his group. And then they sat on masks and drank their beer. 
No one said anything. No, no. How are you supposed to drink? <laughs> Nobody wants beer. Oh my gosh! Stop. And in the Atlanta airport. 